you. <laughs> oh yeah, you look good too. <laughs> oh hi everyone, it's me, Mabel Moon, and your friend Silver Toes. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're here with us today because you know what? <gasps> We're going to meet someone very special. We're going to meet a mayor. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's go. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here with Linda, and Linda used to be a mayor. Isn't that so amazing? Well, thanks for being here, Linda. Oh, you're welcome. Nice to visit. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Uh, hey, do you want to play some Play-Doh? Sure, who's up? Who's not up for a game? <laughs> there we go. So we're here today with Linda, and Linda used to be the mayor of Springwater Township, and that's in Simcoe County, and that's about an hour and a half north of Toronto. Is that right, Linda? Yes, it's a small municipality of 18,000, and, and it's adjacent to Sega Beach. 18,000? That's small? <laughs> well, compared to Toronto. Did you always know, Linda, that you wanted to be a mayor? No, no. I always knew I wanted to be a teacher. Hmm. I always wanted to be... I always want to challenge myself. I always lo I'm looking for things that make me reach a little further. Hmm. And so I have... Uh, I think an ambition to always do that. But no, 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 I would never have thought of being involved in politics. Um, it's like anything. I think you, you starting at the bottom and then realizing that you can do the next job oh. prepares you best. And that, that's what I'd recommend. So that's how I started. I started as a counselor. And, and, so um, kind of practice makes perfect a little bit. Well, I think it's a lot easier because then you've, you've got some experience. And I think that's your defense when people say, oh, what do you know what you don't know what you're talking about? Well, yes, yes. You've got those years of experience, and it does help to defend your um, decision making and um, your knowledge. And so, I guess sometimes it's probably pretty hard to be a mayor. It can be very difficult to being in being a mayor, particularly when you're running uh, public meetings and there are large groups of people there who don't want to hear what what is being planned or what is coming down. Yeah, people can be um, not happy because they don't want to hear what hmm. what. Um, the truth is. And and how did you deal with it when, when someone's not nice to you or someone makes you try to tries to make you feel bad? Because sometimes that happens to us. Well, I couldn't grow a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? You just have to pluck up and... Hmm. and um, I like that, pluck up. But so Linda, how long are you a mayor for? Well, you're voted in for one term at a time mm -hmm. so you can you can put your name in again and if you're successful you get a second term one term lasts four years four years holy jumpins that's a really long time and so is there if i want to be a mayor do i go to school for that it helps to have some education it helps to have some experience it's is there a, a special school for no, mayors mayor no. school no your best school <laughs> is common sense your best oh. school is common sense but it, formal education is very, very helpful because many of the people that will come to you uh, will be well-spoken and well-educated, mm. and so you need to be able to um, speak intelligently and wisely to those people, and you need to have some rural experience because many of the people you're going to be speaking to are, are um, well-educated farmers who want to just talk plain talk about how they move you know, their applications mm. forward. Oh, interesting. But so, is it true that you need a mustache to be a mayor? Well, as you can see, it's a mustache. <laughs> but maybe 50 or 60 years ago, when most mayors were men, that might have been the case. Not, not a necessary item, but probably more so the case than uh, today. There are many more females involved oh. than there were years ago. That was just kind of, that was traditional then in those days, but I think women have moved the mark forward with our efforts. All right, we're gonna play a little game here. Linda, I'm going to pretend that I am the mayor, and how about you call me on the banana phone, okay. and then you ask me a question that maybe you would have been asked when you were the mayor, okay? Ring-a-ding, ring-a-ding, oh. ring-a-ding, ring-a-ding. Oh, he hello. Ho. Oh. Mayor Mabel Moon speaking. How may I help you? Good afternoon, Mayor Mabel Moon. I hope you can help me because I'm calling with a real concern. I've got a daughter's birthday party coming up in a month's time and I have tried 
unsuccessfully to get a permit for my swimming pool in the backyard and your staff are not helpful. <gasps> um, uh, um, come on by the office. I've got some fresh baked banana bread and um, we, we can talk about it over tea. Sound good? When? Uh, uh, anytime you like. That will make you happy again. Today at two. Uh, okay. Oh, I've got a meeting, but oh, this mayor stuff is stressful. Um, please hold. Wait, I have an idea. I remember something Linda said back back earlier. She said to pluck up. That's what I'll try. <sighs> Hello, Mayor Mabel Moon. Uh, yes, two o'clock won't work for me. Let's try 2.05. Thank you, I have um, some business to attend to. Uh, uh, elsewhere. So, 205, and we'll see you then, and I'll have your permit. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Linda, that is very stressful. I didn't know what I was going to say because somebody's upset, and, and they haven't had luck with the people I work with, and I don't know how you managed it, but I remembered what you said, I plucked it up, and I got through it. Well, Linda, I think it's time. I'm feeling a little peckish. Would oh. you like to have some tea? Oh, it's the best solution. <laughs> well, I was, I was going to lead in with the comment that this, even though we often didn't have tea and, and lovely homemade banana bread, much of, um, many of the functions that I would attend would be centered around food. So this is very apropos. Oh, apropos. That's a big word that means just appropriate. Oh, appropriate. and would you say that volunteering in your community is an important thing to do? It's extremely important. It's whether you get, and, and most times you never get paid for it in coin. What you get paid for it is that good feeling in your, in your stomach. You just... So Linda, now that you're not the mayor anymore, what's next? What do you think you're going to do next? You were talking about how you like to progress forward. What do you think you would like to do next? Well, I guess one never stops learning, so um, I'm... Still practicing the piano to, to play for functions, and um, I'm still um, involved at church. I, I'm still very active um, in recreation, skiing, and golfing, mm. and in volunteering. I've taken on more commitments with the um, Simcoe Muskoka. Um, they call it Family Connections, formerly Children's Aid. Mm -hmm. So I'm involved in. Um, performance appraisal and policies. Anyway, three or four committees plus a board me and as wow. board member. Still very busy then. And um, my other appointment to the Barry Police Service Board uh, where wow. I've taken on some committee work beyond being the board member. Wow, that's interesting. Not hard to find a friend who needs a visit. Ah, I like that. Well, you know what? On that note, I'd like to say thank you very much for coming and visiting with me and showing me what it was like to be a mayor. Thank you. Thank you.